Hi guys, in this video we will talk about mapping actions. Uh, so I'll explain you first what is mapping action and then we will uh, we will go into the configuration. So basically SAP provides mapping actions per object and in combination with source system. I'll show you how it looks like. So you go to CFIN IMG, Central Finance System, Mappings, and we have mapping actions here. So first I'll explain the concept. So you can see here we have company code and let's say I want to set a mapping action. So here you can say for <coughs> for EC0 my action is obligatory but for another system in just in case for example you have multiple SAP systems and you want to differentiate or the way mappings will work per company code will change uh, per system. So you can change this action and what are the options you have? Uh, we have four options. First is keep data. And when it is keep data then what system allows you to make is that you don't need to maintain any mappings so what you just for example you have a company code 1000 in ECC and you have company code 1000 in S4 you don't need to maintain a mapping because value is same so in mapping action you need to tell system specifically keep data so that when your accounting documents are coming from ECC you system automatically determines okay for company code I have to just keep keep the value as is and the value really exists in my tables in S4HANA so that's keep data mapping obligatory is when you have to maintain a mapping because the values are different same case company code is 1000 in, e, in ECC it's US01 in S4 so then you have to maintain a mapping because then at the time of transaction posting system has to recognize the transactions posted on company code 1000 should go somewhere and where where is that landing page that is us01 so then when you have to maintain it mapping obligatory and when it is mapping obligatory you always have to maintain a mapping so that's mandatory otherwise your replication will fail map if possible is is a mix where you have some values same and some values different uh, in that case, what you need to do is you keep it, make it map if possible. So system will see, okay, if your values are different and you have maintained mapping, it is fine. If you have not maintained the mapping and the values are same, it is okay. For example, you have two company codes. Uh, I'll give you with example here. So you have a company code 1000 going to 1000. So no mapping necessary. But if a company code 2000 is going to US01, then of course mapping is needed, right? So in that case, what you need to do is you need to maintain a mapping action map if possible. And with that mapping action, you don't need to maintain this mapping. Wherever you they have similarities in values, you just ignore it. But in your mapping tables, in your FinC fin map manage, when you upload the mappings, you have to upload only for the values which are different. So that's mapping map if possible. And the last option is clear data. Clear data is nothing but if the value you want to remove. So of course you cannot do it for core values like company code. I will take another example for clear data and I will say uh, wherever we can remove because of course we cannot remove all the values, some necessary values. Let's say reason of investment. I'm using it in ECC, but I, I really don't care uh, my reason of investment in S4. And I will say, okay, clear data. So what I, what system will do? System will get the value when it is receiving data from ECC, but it will delete the value in this field, IZWEK, because you are telling system clear data. I will save it. Okay, so it's saved now. So that's how the story of mapping action works. So in summary, there are four mapping actions. Uh, just to repeat, keep data, mapping obligatory, map if possible, clear data. Anything outside you have to do from this, which is standard SCP doesn't support, you have to do an enhancement. Yeah, I hope the concept of mapping action is clear. Thank you.